Hey guys, welcome to a very special Supercars of London video. As you saw yesterday, my car is broken, uh, which means that I am carless. Um, so I thought this would be a great opportunity to do a car review, a special Supercars of London car review on, yes, that's right, the 0.9 litre Fiat 500 pop twin air and the reason why I'm going to do this review is because this is my girlfriend's car and um, she's kindly letting me borrow it um, until my car is fixed so what better way than to give you uh, my review on uh, what this car is like to drive so uh, let's do a quick overview of what this car is all about first of all it's in baby blue I'm going to keep this review uh, pretty professional, try and give you as much information as possible, but I also think that this is probably going to be one of the funniest car reviews uh, that I will ever have to do. Um, it's also going to be quite biased because my girlfriend's going to be in the car as well filming, um, so I'm going to have to be careful with what I say, otherwise she won't let me borrow it. Um, so we'll start with the exterior looks. Um, well, it's baby blue. I think it's on about nine inch alloy wheels. Check them out. And if we're gonna talk about styling, um, it looks like a bubble. And then we'll let's quickly zoom into the interior. Look at, we've got a Hawaii uh, necklace, a flower on the dashboard and an Ugg boot. So as you can uh, tell, this really fits into my personality, the color, the interior, and um, everything in between. But it's an Italian design, so I should love it. Um, from the outside, it doesn't look like a Lambo or a Ferrari, even though Fiat owned Ferrari. Um, but this is a 0.9 litre moped engine, so, or a motorbike engine. Like Jeremy Clarkson said, the sound of this car is quite unique and Fiat call it the pop edition. So maybe that's because the exhaust system pops, whether it's army tricks or what. So let's jump in and uh, let's see what this car's all about. So we've got mouth cam going on and my knees are stuck. So the color of the paint continues to exist from the outside. We've got the electric baby blue still inside, um, something that the McLaren P1 um, uses in their um, hybrid hypercar. Um, so oh, that'll do. Got a nice bit of the Ugg boot here. Um, like I said, my knees are stuck. I think this is um, the position that my girlfriend sits in. There we go. So let's look at the dials. We've got a single dial that has the rev range, the uh, speedo, which goes up to 140 miles an hour. I'm not sure whether this car can get up to that speed. But then as we move across, we've got a few extra dials like this one, something to do with air. And this button, eco button, basically turns this car into um, a slower version than it already is. So when it's not in eco mode, it's a 0.9 litre moped engine. And then when you press the eco button, it's supposedly better for the um, economy. No, not the economy. The environment. That's it. Sorry, it's quite early in the morning. But... Um, so, it's, so it, makes it, it basically makes it into a slower version than it already is. And what you're about to find out is that this car is pretty slow already. Uh, so let's start this car up. See if you can hear the exhaust note. What I'm gonna do, wind the window down. Give it a few revs, try not to wake up the neighborhood. So this car is definitely aimed at the young generation, the young boy racers that all gather in Tesco's car park um, because that sound up to three and a half thousand revs, like Jeremy Clarkson said, does have a very unique sound to it. So um, let's move off. Why do I always break things? What was that? 
Anyway, into first gear. Let's see how good it is at three point turn. Really good, because you guys can't see it. Good catch. What we're gonna do instead is mouth cam. First things first, let's talk about my first impressions of driving the Fiat 500 compared to uh, the Audi R8. It's a lot higher, I think we're probably a good person higher um, driving. The, the seating position is um, very high in the car, my head is um, quite near the roof as it is with the R8, so that's quite similar. Um, and then the steering position, it's probably the same level as my stomach, whereas um, Driving in the R8 is near enough the same position as my chin, so you're a lot higher up in this car. The power-wise, unfortunately we haven't been able to get out onto the open road and really put our foot down in this yet, but that will that will come. Um, but overall, it's quite a comfortable ride. The um, technology, let's quickly talk about the technology because um, some of it's brilliant and some of it is just a complete waste of time. For example, the button that tells you or it controls your speed basically, it tells you when you're going over the speed limit but it thinks that every single road is 20 miles an hour. So when you're going over speed bumps and you dip below 20 miles an hour, every time you accelerate after the speed bump you go over 20 miles an hour and you get a nice Fiat 500 beep at you, which um, is quite annoying. But when we get onto the dual carriageway we'll be able to talk about the 0 to 60 times if it has one. and. Um, also talk about the handling because if you watched my Audi R8 review um, which is probably a good couple of months ago then uh, you would have heard me talk about the steering on this car and it feels like you're driving in a big bubble and um, hopefully we can do some mouth cam point of view so that you guys get to see what it's actually like to steer because um, it's got a lot of play in the steering wheel even though I'm going completely straight so uh, yeah we'll do that in a bit but to begin with we're just on some uh, single carriage roads. Traffic's quite bad. So once we hit the dual carriageway, we'll uh, touch upon the performance side of the 0.9 Fiat 500. So that's just the speed of the Fiat 500 there, taking on the, uh, the traffic lights and being able to go through them green when they are green. So now let's drop it down to second. You might hear the 0.9 rev up a bit and we'll do a bit of a 0 to 60 time. Um, no, we'll do a 30 to 60 time. So here we go. We're at 30, 35, 40, 45, 45, 50, 55. Here we go. We're now hitting 60 miles an hour. There we go, so that was 30 to 60. A lot faster than my Audi R8 could do at the moment, because I don't think my R8 can get up to 30. And um, it's a bit different. And now we're in fifth gear, we're foot flat to the floor, doing 60 miles an hour, and the speedo's not moving. 61. We're coming up to a downhill, so maybe we'll get some speed up now when we're going downhill. 63, 64, 65, my foot is flat to the floor. We could hit 70 miles an hour, the speed limit, which is what I go in all of my videos. Here we go, 70 miles an hour and lift off. So there we go, that's the performance side of the Fiat 500. Twin Air Pop 0.9 edition doesn't have the same initial power as the R8 does when you put your foot down and you definitely don't get pinned back to the to the back of your seat um, like you do in some supercars. It's not to say that this car isn't fast uh, against G Wizards and things like that. Whilst we're on this dual carriageway, what I'll do is I'm going to do a bit of mouth cam. It's so 
so bubbly. Just looks like a bubble. Drives like a bubble. It's a bubble for the road. Foot flat to the floor. In third gear. Endless power, endless power in the Fiat 500. Thoroughly enjoying the car review of driving the Fiat compared to my R8. One final uh, test to do for the Fiat 500 on my uh, day off from not having an Audi R8. It's a sound test in the car park. A 0.9 whizzing around. Let's see how good it handles the uh, how good it handles the ramps. We haven't got any 20-inch wheels, lowered suspension, or Army Tricks exhaust. But um, how did you get out? Way out. Here we go. On the way out, handles it beautifully, as you would imagine, from a very everyday car built for the city. And um, I hope you guys have enjoyed what has been a very impromptu video, daily video blog. We're about to head out now and um, head home. Hopefully be able to give you an update on how my car's doing tomorrow because I'm away from SB Race Engineering today. Oh, doing it the wrong way. typical so there'll be a proper update on the Audi R8 tomorrow I hope you guys haven't been bored by the the Fiat's power or the Fiat's uh, road presence but um, yeah uh, where do we go we dri yeah this is the way <laughs> driving th driving through Oxford and uh, a place that uh, I've never been before so gonna get so lost now might be worth carrying on filming um, proper update tomorrow on the Audi R8 just gonna finish off the video so um, hopefully fingers crossed we'll have a part we'll have a estimated time of it being fixed and we'll go from there lots more to announce throughout the week as I mentioned in yesterday's video blog and I will see you guys tomorrow and um, keep praying for my R8 guys cheers Make sure you subscribe, we're a hell of a lot.